If your car overheated and now won't start, I'll walk you through potential causes and fixes. If you're interested in learning why cars overheat, I'll leave a link in the description below to a video covering that topic. There are several potential reasons why your car won't start after overheating. It could be a blown head gasket, a damaged battery, or issues with water and electronics. For example, one or more electronic sensors might have melted or been damaged, and some of the wires could also have been affected. Car battery. If your car won't start after overheating, the first thing you should check is the battery. Excessive heat can damage car batteries or cause them to lose their charge. If the engine isn't turning over at all and you just hear a click, click, click sound, the battery is likely the issue. If you have a battery charger, you can charge the battery for about 30 minutes to an hour and then test it. Alternatively, you can take it to an auto parts store where they typically offer free battery testing. They'll charge it for about an hour and then check its condition to let you know if it's still good. But the first step is always to check the battery. Water and electronics. Next, check if any water or coolant has spilled onto the engine. When an engine overheats, it's common for coolant to leak or spray out, potentially covering the engine and electrical components. If that's the case, the liquid might be causing issues with the electronics. Take a look around the engine to make sure it's dry, and if there's still liquid on it, give it more time to evaporate before trying to start the car again. Keep in mind that water can damage electronics, especially when power is applied, so be patient and allow everything to dry properly. Damaged sensors. Another possible cause is that one of the sensors might have been damaged. Modern engines rely on a variety of electronic sensors, and heat can sometimes cause them to malfunction, preventing the vehicle from starting. To check for this, you can use an OBD2 scan tool to read any engine codes, which will point to any faulty sensors. If a sensor fails, the scan tool will typically display a code indicating the specific sensor that's malfunctioning. You don't need an expensive OBD2 scan tool. There are many affordable options available for $20 to $40 that can scan for codes and help you identify any issues. Scanning for codes is a quick way to see if any sensors are damaged and understand what's going on with your engine. Melted wires. Another possible cause could be that a wire has melted. If a wire was in contact with hot metal or something else that caused it to overheat, it could melt. When a wire melts, it usually affects whatever it's connected to, causing an error. For example, if the wire is connected to a sensor, that sensor will likely trigger an error code. So if you scan with an OBD2 tool and it points to a specific sensor as the issue, but the sensor itself checks out, the problem might be a melted or damaged wire leading to the sensor. In that case, you'll need to fix the wiring blown head gasket. Another potential issue is a blown head gasket. The head gasket sits between the engine block and the cylinder head, separating the oil passages from the coolant passages. When a head gasket blows, these passages can mix, causing problems. For example, coolant can leak into the oil passage, or coolant can enter the cylinder, both of which lead to engine trouble. One way to check for a blown head gasket is by inspecting the oil. If there's coolant mixed in with the oil, that's a strong indication of a blown gasket. You can also remove the spark plugs and check for any signs of coolant in the cylinders. And that's pretty much it. If you have any additional thoughts or anything to add, feel free to comment below. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a great day.